WISE profiler captures a plethora of data about all aspects of the audio engine during the runtime simulation. That information is serviced through a series of profiling views providing targeted answers about voice behaviors and runtime performance. First, we'll cover filtering in the profiler filter, including the filter toolbar and filter expressions. Then we'll switch over to the game object profiler to look at filtering in the game object 3D view and game syncs monitor. When you're staring down a wall of profiler data, the ability to read between the lines and identify your focus is critical. The filtering toolbar gives you the ability to pinpoint specific objects in the sea of information in order to get a greater understanding. Let's take a look at this profiler session captured with the WISE Audio Lab. In this example, we'll use the profiler filter layout to focus on objects in the capture data that need to be assessed. Filter toolbars are linked globally across profiler views by default and can filter by text, object, or by using mute and solo. We'll begin by typing the letters FO in the text filter, which will leave only the fountain, football, and footstep objects visible. Clicking the link unlink button unlinks it from other views, making the filtered results local to a specific view and allows for further filtering. While the other views maintain the FO filter, we can now continue to refine our results in the voice monitor by completing the word foot, leaving only the football and footstep objects visible. Filters can be reset globally or locally and can also be synced or cleared across filters. Using a space in the text field connects strings of text using the AND operator, making multiple text strings act as an additive filter. Building on the foot text in the filter, we'll add the space character and the word walk, leaving only the footstep objects that also include the word walk visible. Filter expressions provide the ability to include, exclude, and use wildcards in conjunction with text. Adding an exclamation point in front of the walk text will exclude objects that also include walk from the filtered results, leaving only the football objects visible. Engage in the mutant solo filter in any view based see what you hear workflow to profiling that filters all views according to mutes and solos throughout the project. By soloing the football field ambisonics object, we can hear and see only the football field loop and its captured data. The voice inspector view details the full voice pipeline of a voice from its source to the final output bus. While the voice inspector graph exposes the ability to view both the wet and dry path of a voice, the contribution list is where detailed information about the values and drivers that affect a voice are represented, either locally or at runtime. Additional visibility options can be accessed via the eye icon in order to view different properties. For instance, toggling the visibility for effects shows the use of the Convolution Reverb plugin on the outside AUX bus. Once an opportunity for adjustment has been identified, navigating to the property can be accomplished by finding it in the Project Explorer using the contextual menu. In this next example, we'll use the Game Object Profiler layout. Leveraging filter expressions in the text filter using the asterisk symbol as a wildcard and filter for all text strings that include the word projectile at any point within a word. Objects in the Game Object 3D Viewer can be pinned in order to track object registration across the duration of a capture session. Scrolling through the timeline in the Game Syncs monitor allows you to navigate the capture session in time and pinpoint when an object is active. Inactive objects are filtered from the list automatically, and when they're pinned, appear as gray text. The Game Object 3D Viewer also provides filtering based on Game Object Name or ID and allows for these filters to persist across profiling sessions. Controlling the visibility of these filters using the visibility icon means that a list of usual filters can be kept available as your project progresses. The Game Sync Monitor view shows the values of Game Syncs for active voices over time. RTPC values are presented for active game objects, and the value can be observed in the list view as well as by hovering over the voice in the graph. 
Filtering with profiling views brings a new way to focus and understand profiler data. It helps aid in mixing, debugging, and optimizing your project. Check out more at audiokinetic.com.